is the health center built by the members of Lagasa Community Development Association in the Bejuleki local government area. It is a major milestone in the history of this community, founded many years ago by a prince from Ileife, the cradle of the Yoruba race. The history is, uh, of Lagasa is compiled of Barua Odofi family, Oguda Ridaudu family, Alausa family, and uh, Belo family. They were from Ileife, and Adoro family. They came from Ileife as far back as 1672. They settled here, and they have been here since that time. And that time, when there's no road from the Holy Bejuleki to Lagos, no road. Unless we are going to Lagos, they will come to Lagasa through water. It is the Holy Bejuleki comes to Lagasa to transport themselves to Lagos. If you don't come to Lagasa, you don't go to Lagos. As the community grew from a rural area of farmers and fishermen, the needs of the members for modern-day facilities such as roads, schools and hospitals increased. We are doing farming. All our farming, all our fishing, they go through the boat to Lagos for, for, for sale. So we have, that time, we are in difficulties. But the most crucial was the urgent need for modern health care facilities. According to so the ballet, the clamor for health facility began a long time ago. As long as they could remember, the community had been losing pregnant women and newly born children because traditional birth attendants, the local specialists who performed the role for decades, could no longer cope with complications. The development comes from the uh, communities way that resides in the community, especially the other community across the water that uh, happened to build our neighboring community. Fifteen years ago, you cannot pass this area anytime we are in rainy season. We abandoned the road. But thank God today, through the self project, listen, you can see it's a bit more now. From a few hundreds to thousands, from scanty halls to many homes, Lagasa community resolved to give healthcare the priority it truly deserves. Today, it is still battling with the health center project that will take care of their needs, determined to turn a collective dream into reality. What we believe in this community is that not everything government will do. There are ways you support the government. That's what we call community self project. We believe if you are waiting for the government to come, you are, we are not the only community the government will come into. We have a lot of, for example, like CDAs now, we have over 3,000 CDAs. If you think it might be your turn tomorrow, it may not. In the next five years, it may not. But so far, the, gov the community have an asset to do such a thing. They should try their efforts. That is the effort we made in having this place today. When Lagos Community Update visited Lagasa during the course of this report, we were told of how far they have to travel before they can access qualitative medical attention. The nearest hospital to us is Akodo. Apart from Akodo, you go to Ekpe. Imagine a woman who is laboring from the other side of the water. Before you get to Akodo or to Ekpe, you know, it's a very difficult issue. The situation became worse for pregnant women, children and aged. With major resources, many could not afford private hospitals. They only wished for a health post publicly owned. We've lost many lives. In terms of uh, deaths, daring, when they wanted to give birth, majority of our women used to die. Maybe after birth or before delivery. And some people used to seek before taking them out. When this community was in the bush, before going out, it wasn't an easy task. You have to look here and there look for a healthy person that will help you carry the patient out. I've been into this community for the past 15 years. I realize health is wet. People delivering then, even my wife, when she was pregnant, to deliver we have to go to Akodo. Akodo is our surmise to this place. 
Anything may happen along the road. Secondly, people are the Riverine area. We have about eight communities in the Riverine area. They find it difficult too. During delivery time or during sickness, before you can get to that place, sometimes it might have happened. Seeking to address the plight, the executive members of Lagasa Community Development Association began a journey that will benefit the young and the old. A health post is undergoing construction. The health center has to be a challenge, or the health center has to be challenged in this community. That's why I now think of what is the first thing to do? I need to help people in the community in terms of health wise. That's why the community now came together. I need to think of the first thing to go is to go for the health, health centers so that people will be accessed to health facilities when it comes to the sickness, elders, or children, or whatever. This health center, we spend nothing less than 20 million as it, as, as, it, as it is now. But we still need something, nothing less than 7 million to complete it as of now. If you go in there, you see, we, we made it as if it is an hospital. It's not an health center. Because all the facility in the hospital, we have it in the health center there. A project so close to the heart of community members. The expression on their faces was enough evidence that the community self-help project is truly needed. We've not seen anything. We've, we've told them that it's not yet time for them to come. They said they will come because everybody in this community we are happy. When, they, when we started, they were mocking, can we do this thing? CDA, can you do this? Leave us. Let's try first. As from now, I'm, my heart is full of joy because not only me will benefit, the whole of my family will benefit. The children, children, children are coming, they will benefit. And it will not stop at this level, by the grace of God. We are still going far, maybe to General Hospital later in future. Health means a lot to me, like, um, health, without health, I don't think um, we can be able to come to school. Um, without being healthy, I don't think we um, can be alive today. And um, I think by, for this structure here, it means a lot to us in this community, like those who are pregnant, like those um, who are sick can actually come here instead of going far. It will be faster for the residents of this community to easily access the health care. <laughs> and it will make them, it will be, it will make their health, like it will make people to be okay and more secure about their health. If the health center is completed, the old eight communities, they will enjoy. Elderly person is sick. Before they look for a far place to take him to, or a woman, they will come here for at least. They will first check him up, know his problem. Lagasa CDA is hoping that its effort will be complemented by both private and public organizations in the area. When we have every rain, as you came in easily, it will not be easy for you to come in. We made the drainage by ourselves. So we want government to assist us and all the people surrounding us, the companies, schools and so on, to come to our heads so that this thing will get completed quickly. We are using this opportunity to appeal to all the corporate organizations within our assets. If not even not within our assets, they can come. I mean the NGOs, the uh, corporate bodies and every other company in Ibejuleki will come to our aid. I thank our governor. That is Governor Akil Miyambode. Uh, in fact, since we have been having governors, he has tried. More than tried. It's only the water is more than the the gari. You see? So that is why I know the man is trying. Uh, there was a time they did road to Ekutu. Ekutu is London now. They have done it. Please, we are appealing to our able governor to come to our aid, especially on this road.